In this month's red light therapy video, I share with you a company I've just stumbled upon that specialize in red light therapy products for cognitive performance. We look at a ton of new blog articles, including an article on why panels may be better than wraps. Uh, we look at an article on testing uh, red light therapy devices and a neat hack that you can use at home. We have an article on red light therapy and cardiovascular health, health and also an article on fertility and red light therapy. We then look at a new published study diving into the benefits of red light therapy on bone health and what wavelengths in particular were seen to be the best. Uh, I then have my monthly question and answer section and then I finally wrap up with updates from myself and uh, what new videos are coming down the pipeline. All right, let's get into it. Now, first up, we have not only a new product, but it's, an, it's, a, it's a new company, uh, a company that uh, a viewer actually told me about, so I thank you. And um, this company is called Wellred. It's an Australian-based company, though they ship internationally. And I'll put a link to this company and, and all the articles I mentioned below, so check that out. Wellred.com.au. Now, these guys sell red light therapy devices that are designed to help with cognitive performance or um, at least slow or, or, or stop cognitive decline. Last month we talked about the V-Light or Violite products and uh, they've got their headset and their intranasal device. These guys well read do the same thing but what's neat is the price is a lot lower and also uh, I think w without actually using them I've only looked at the website and um, I'll put video uh, photos up so you guys can see it as well. Their devices, their products actually look a little bit nicer than the V-Light ones. They're not quite as bulky and clunky uh, as the Violite v -Lite prices, uh, products, sorry. Um, so yeah, they're cheaper, they look nicer, and they've got some pretty neat tech as well. So their Duro Coronet, Coronet device, uh, headset, comes with two LEDs, or uses two LEDs, 670 nanometer and 810 nanometer light. So they're the wavelengths that we know uh, can help with cognitive decline. And um, they also use pulsing, uh, they pulse that light at 40 hertz as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm going through all the notes here. So it does look like a pretty neat product. 800 US dollars. They've also got their Coronets, which is the nasal light, which also uses the same 6, 670 and 810. Uh, what's interesting is there's two lights in there. Uh, the V-Light one just has one. Uh, that is pulsed as well. They've also got a TheraPad, and we're going to talk later about um, panels versus body wraps or pads. Uh, and they've also got the same headset with just one wavelength, 670. But that's $700. You're better off just spending an extra $100 and getting the, the dual wavelength. So, hey, look, I haven't tested these products. Uh, I don't know much about them other than what I've seen on the website. But it looks good. Um, much cheaper price point. Um, I may reach out to them and learn a bit more about it. Uh, it could be a, a good interview topic, actually. So next up in new product news, I guess, uh, Blue, Bo Blue Blocks, the company Blue Blocks has renamed to Bond Charge. I hope I said that right. I, I pretty much get every company's name wrong, so apologies if I've mispronounced that. Uh, their products are all the same. It's just the name. So the Blue Blocks Hive Max is now called the Bond Charge Max or Hive Max. Yeah. Anyway, um, just a name change. So going forward, we'll refer to them as Bond Charge. Uh, what else? Huga, they have a calculator on their website for getting the right dose. I know technically this isn't a product and I don't know how long this has been out there. Uh, I, I've just stumbled upon it now. So apologies if, you, if you've used this before and you're like, Alex, this isn't new. Now, some people will like this. You can go in and um, find out you know, what particular uh, you put, impl and put in all the metrics, you know, your, the panel and whatnot, and um, get your dose. I have a lot of thoughts on calculators and dosing, and I'm not going to go into it now because I've just recorded an interview with Andrew Latour from Gimberin, and we actually talk about the limitations of uh, this sort of stuff, so be sure to subscribe to check that out. But hey, if you want to check out that calculator, I'll put a link to it below. All right, now we move on to new articles. So first up, we have an interview with a guy named Dr. Ray Pete. Now, Ray Pete uh, is quite a controversial figure, I guess. Uh, he's got a bit of a cult-like following. Uh, some of his his um, protocols, I guess you'd call them that, are a little bit different, <laughs> yeah, let's say different, uh, to the mainstream, but he's always been a big fan of red light therapy or light therapy. Uh, so the team over at Cyto LED 
have interviewed Ray Pete, so I'll put a link to that interview over there. It's just a short uh, written interview, so you can check that out in five minutes or so. Platinum LED have just released a blog article comparing the benefits of a red light therapy panel compared to a wraparound uh, wrap, red light therapy wrap. I actually have one here that I'm going to be testing this month. Uh, so you may have seen these, a lot of companies sell these now. Um, Platinum LED don't sell them. They've obviously been asked about, you know, hey, why don't you sell these wraps? And they've done what I think is a really good job on explaining why they aren't bothering with wraps and why you should probably um, at least consider, well, pretty much they say, look, don't buy a wrap, buy a panel instead. And to be honest, they make a really good uh, case for it. And it, it, it resonates with the thoughts I have had on wraps. And again, I haven't used them before, but it's least, at least it's my experience with red light devices. I'm like, hey, aren't you better off just spending money and getting a panel? So they talk about how uh, you get more power in a panel. Um, you actually want a little bit of distance, so you get an even spread of light uh, and a, a few other things in there as well. So check that out. All right, next up, we have a blog article or a couple of blog articles over at redlightman.com. Now, if you've been in the red light therapy space for a while, like I have, you probably know of Red Light Man. Joe, who founded Red Light Man, was big uh, in the space back in 2016, 17, when Red Light Therapy started getting into the biohacking world, I guess. Biohackers were becoming more aware of it. Um, I read a lot of this stuff early on. In fact, there's a few blog articles on there where you'll see questions that I've, I've asked Joe. Um, and he had some products. I've never tested his products, but then he sort of went off offline for a while. I mean, the site still existed, but there were no updates. I wasn't too sure if he was still selling products or not, but it looks like he's back uh, back online. So he's recently published a few, few new articles. Um, the big one is light therapy for fertility. And he goes into how red light therapy can help with fertility in both men and women. It's quite an interesting read. Um, personally, it doesn't interest me at the moment. We've got a little baby, I'm happy uh, <laughs> on that. But hey, if that's something you're into, then definitely check out his article. And while you're over there, have a look at some of his older stuff because it is really, it's really good content. His products are still all the original, I'm not gonna say outdated, the, the generation one, I guess, products that he was selling a couple of years ago. So it will be interesting to see if he updates them. I have just sent him an email saying if, if he wants to be interviewed and we can do a, a podcast with him, it'd be really neat. So stay tuned. Hopefully we have some updates on that front. Gimbread have just posted a new article showing how you can use a budget tool to test power levels and power radiance. Uh, now, typically you need to send a panel off to a lab and spend a lot of money to get it tested or spend a couple thousand dollars on a spectrometer, which is what I use. Uh, now, Andrew from Gimbred is quite, um, He's quite vocal about the limitations of using a solar meter to test a power radiance, and that's what a lot of companies do. I personally have never used a solar meter because of those exact limitations. In fact, him and I talk about those limitations in our upcom upcoming interview. But um, this article, he talks about how you could use a cheaper device and uh, run it through some algorithms that he's uh, created to get a rough idea of how much power is coming out. It's a uh, first of a three-part series so it will be interesting to see um you know how he covers this topic in detail and uh for those of you who are more into the nerdy you know numbers side of red light therapy then you'll definitely want to check this out so again links below finally we have an article from Rook. now this article is titled improving cardiovascular health with red and near infrared light therapy uh it's a it's a well-written article there's a lot of science in here uh and goes through a lot of a lot of the claims and, and how red light therapy can benefit your health and in particular cardiovascular health. So if that is something that you're worried about, check out that article below. Okay, so next up we're looking at some new science that has just been published. This study is titled Response of Osteoblastic Cells to Low Level Laser Treatment, a Systemic Review. Now, in this review they took 14, they looked at 14 already published studies and they wanted to determine whether red light therapy stimulated the creation of osteoblasts from st stem cells. And they were also curious to see if red light therapy stimulated the mitochondria, which in turn can stimulate these um, osteoblasts as well. So, so the idea is with more osteoblasts, you have um, higher or better bone formation. Now their findings concluded that yes, 
low level laser therapy or red light therapy did in fact boost osteoblastic cells and uh, in turn bone formation. Now what's interesting is they even shared the wavelengths that seemed to be the most beneficial here and that was around 808 and 635. Now what's good about that is there are panels on the market that uh, use those wavelengths. So uh, Platinum LED Biomax, they use those wavelengths. Uh, the Light Path LED Large Multi-Wave Panel, uh, the new Infrared Flex Panels, they also use 630 and 810. Now you might be thinking, hey, 630 is different to 635 and 810 is different to 808. But if you've seen my reviews before, you'll know that those are just the peak wavelengths. You actually get a lot of energy either side of those wavelengths. So if you are interested in bone health, um, bone density, then you may be interested in finding a panel that utilizes the 630 and 810 nanometer lights. Remember, uh, traditional panels or panels that use the traditional wavelengths such as the Juve only use 660 and 850, so you're not going to get exposure to those, those um, other wavelengths in, in a Juve or uh, another panel that's only using 6, 660 and 850, such as, say, red light rising. Now, of course, there's still a lot of unknowns, uh, dosing, distances, uh, what happens if you combine other wavelengths. There's so many things we don't know about it, but hey, we do know that red light therapy works. There's tons of... Um, Oh, literally thousands of studies showing it works and thousands and thousands of people who have shared their stories uh, showing that it works for them as well. So look, if bone health is important to you, look, it's another win for red light therapy. Just make sure you're finding a panel that has the uh, 810 and 630 nanometer light. Okay, so in this month's Q&A section, I received a question from someone who goes to a health spa and they were marketing their ultra slim uh, red light panel for fat loss. Now this person wanted to know firstly if it would work and secondly if it was any different um, to you know a Biomix panel or any other red light therapy panel because you had to pay I don't know $50 a session to use this panel and they thought well after 10 sessions I could have spent you know 500 bucks and bought a panel for home and is it going to be better or different is it a different technology so I looked into this and the particular product was called Ultra Slim by Ward Photonics now I looked, at, they've got a lot of accreditations to their name, um, half of it I don't quite understand. Uh, and I looked up the specs, like the technical specs, and yeah, it's just a red light therapy device. It's using a wavelength of 635 nanometers, which is rather unique to be honest. Uh, it's not something you see a lot of. Um, and it recommends treatment time from eight to 10 minutes. It's got the uh, output intensity, which seems pretty standard you know for a high high powered panel it's got the treatment area the size dosage weight and all that and it comes on wheels and, and all that sort of jazz um so based on my experience and looking at all this data i would say look save your money and go and buy a panel that is similar to this and use it as many times as you want at home and you don't have to pay a, a, a usage fee as such the interesting thing here was the wavelengths. They do have 150 LEDs emitting a wavelength of 635 nanometer light. Now, this is, it's not a common wavelength. You know, if you could go and buy a Juve, uh, a Juve panel, for instance, you're not getting any 630 uh, nanometer light or 635 nanometer light. We did just talk about uh, 630 nanometer light because that's what was shown to help with bone density. And I did mention a few panels. The Platinum LED Biomax range, uh, the light path LED large multi-wave panel and the new infrared flex they all use that 630 nanometer light so you could go check out those panels if you're trying to replicate this ultra slim panel yeah you want a panel that has as many LEDs in that 635 or 630 uh, nanometer range as possible so I should also mention that the Mito Red Mito Pro series also use 630 nanometer light uh, they have 25 percent of their energy going to the 630. So that could be also another good option. In fact, that would be a better option than say the Biomax um, from Platinum LED because they only have a few percent going to the 630, whereas my read in this case have a lot more. So shop around, um, look at all the options out there. The downside with a panel like that is, yeah, you're getting, you're not just getting a 630, 635 nanometer light, you're also getting the other wavelengths, but the upside is you are getting those other wavelengths, right? We know there's a lot of benefits to them. I haven't looked into this device, the Ultra Slim, and I haven't used it. I don't know too much about it, other than the specs I've just seen here. Uh, 
We have covered fat loss and red light therapy in a previous news um, video where I looked at a, a new study on fat loss, so you might want to go back and check that out. Uh, but again, if, if, if let's say your friend's been using this Ultra Slim and they think, oh my God, it's amazing, um, I'd just go and find a panel that has 630 nanometer light and, and use it at home and again, save some money. Okay, and finally, I finish with an update from me and what videos are coming down the pipeline. So first up, my team have been working on a guide covering all the best red light therapy blog articles on um, particular topics. So, you know, what to do uh, post-surgery or what red light therapy and sunburn and stuff like that. So if you have a question, hey, you know, what should I use for arthritis? Leave a question below and I'll share some of those articles um, that we, we have put together. So some of these well, there the are articles from all over the web. Some of them are from companies that sell red light therapy panels. Others are from like doctors. Um, I think one or two are, have been written by myself, but it's, it's a pretty good art, um, database and we'll keep updating that as well. And it will help you guys get better information and um, know that you're reading good quality content and not just some marketing buy my product sort of material. Next up, what about videos? Well, I've recently published uh, my Biomax 900 quad review. That's my personal setup now, what I'm using on a daily basis. So check that out if you wanna know more about that. I have tested the Carla Mini handheld red light therapy device. That video should be up now. A really neat and interesting video on the treatment area of a red light therapy panel. That's That's got a lot of good comments and feedback, so check that out if you haven't, uh, haven't already. And then finally, a Huga 300 tabletop review. So that's the second tabletop um, review I've done now. I hope to do some more in the near future. Coming up, I have that interview with Andrew Latour. It's like an hour and a half. I, I thought it would be about 45 to 60 minutes max, but there was just so much we covered. And in fact, I still have a whole page of questions. So I'm gonna have to do a part two, maybe even a part three, because um, yeah, there was that, that much to cover. And Andrew's like, he, he just knows his stuff. It's awesome. So yeah, you're gonna love that interview. Um, be sure to subscribe to be notified of that. We have a Dermabine mask review coming up. That's the first time I've reviewed a mask. So for those of you that have wanted me to review a mask, it's coming. And uh, we've got a Juve versus Mitre Red comparison video as well. So all of those will be rolling out in the coming weeks. Be sure to subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video, hit like. Remember, if you want to purchase any red light therapy panel, just go and code Alex, A-L-E-X. We'll save you a few dollars and helps me uh, continue to put out content like this. If you got any questions, if you got any um, ideas, video ideas, if you want me to review a product or yeah, you just want to know anything about red light therapy, leave your questions below. I'll do my best to answer it, answer it and um, I will see you next time. All right guys, bye.